The only alternative is to understand everything that's going on and then counter neutralize it as much as possible, turn off as many buttons as you can, and uh, frustrate them as much as you can. I, I am I resolutely opposed to all innovation, all change, but I am determined to understand what's happening. Because I, I don't choose a sitting a juggernaut roll over me. Now, uh, this, uh, many people seem to think that if you talk about something recent, you're in favor of it. Uh, the exact opposite is true in my case. Anything I talk about is almost certainly to be something I'm resolutely against. And it seems to me the best way of proposing it is to understand it, and then you know where to turn off the button. Well, forgive my impertinence, but has anybody well, asked you why you are Has anybody asked you why you are Because, because, because I use the right hemisphere. Because I use the right hemisphere. When you see that, when they, when you see that, when they, when they, when they, when they, Ordinarily, people are trained to try to follow you and to connect everything you say with what they last heard. They're not prepared to use their wits. They're only prepared to use the idea they picked up the first time and try to connect it to another idea. So if you're in a situation that is flexible, where you have to use your wits and perceptions, they can't follow you. They have preconceptions that phase them out at once. Mm -hmm. You see, that's left hemisphere. I use the right hemisphere a great deal, which is a world of perception, not no concepts. I don't use that. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't and you don't try to connect things, you I just don't. let the right hemisphere take over and yeah. let it go. And watch what's happening. And so that, that is the, yeah, that's the, that is the way it, because you crumble something. Well, you don't know what's going to happen, but you follow the crumble.